Hello friends, this is the second video on TensorFlow uh, basic tutorial. So in the last lecture we have uh, seen about how to install TensorFlow. We have imported the TensorFlow uh, library as a, a rename to the TF. We have seen that uh, how, how we can verify that whether TensorFlow, uh, which version of TensorFlow we have installed. So in this tutorial we are going to uh, see about how to uh, define the constant or variable or a new concepts like a placeholder inside this uh, uh, tensorflow first of all uh, the tensorflow uh, execution works inside this uh, two step first you need to define a, a graph and then you need to execute those graph so first is nothing but the, you need to give the definition of individual nodes and age graph is nothing but the set of node and age which are connected together so node contains the individual operation and uh, age will contain the whatever the output you have got from the individual node it will propagate to the another uh, node so tensorflow works on a principle of how the graph system works basically so let's define uh, let's see how we can calculate uh, how we can define uh, the simple constant and how we can calculate or make an operation on the top of it okay so uh, in a tf has one matter constant then you can supply simple value like 3.0 and we will assign it to the any variable a the same way will define another constant okay so we have defined a two variable c now let's just add it and print this c okay so uh, we should expect that this print C should print total seven number as a number or as a float value but it has printed this C as a one of the tensor object so what goes uh, actually wrong here basically so I told you that it execution step works in a two step so till now we have just defined the three nodes which is nothing but A B and C C is dependent on a to another node which is not a uh, two constant a and b but we haven't given this c to actually execute we haven't given instruction a and b to even execute so in a tensorflow what we need to do we need to create one a session variable so tf will provide this session now inside this session we need to run this uh, c variable so we can do like a session dot run c okay now we got the c is equal to 7 this is nothing but the addition of 3 and a 4 so uh, what is happening here there are two steps process till now we have defined the graphs the graph is having a b and c node and a different operation associated with that uh, node so after that what this tensorflow will do once you start the session it will start the compiling those graph and then if you supply that you just run on the variable c c is nothing but it depends on a and b so eventually it will run a and b also and it will calculate this uh, 7 so it won't work usual the way python system our works now let's see another uh, uh, functionality like a variable okay one thing more in a constant uh, co variable okay so uh, we have added just now the two constant value now let's go for how to add the two uh, variable one variable will be dependent on uh, another variable so uh, let's define one constant like uh, x is nothing but like a 10 or you can give even a, a name of this uh, tensor also which is uh, let's give x only so while saving this uh, variable in a 
persistent storage when you retrieve it you can retrieve it with this name now let's define one more uh, variable this is the constant we have defined let's define a variable so variable y y is nothing but x plus suppose 6 so uh, y is dependent variable on x and x is nothing but the constant for us and name will give like y okay so uh, we have defined a two variable one is a constant and a one is a uh, variable now uh, in earlier case we didn't initialize any kind of uh, variable because that was a, a constant value and it has been initialized while creating this function only but in this case we have to initialize this variable so what this tensorflow will do initialize all variable has taf has one method initialize all variable and we will assign it to the model so till now we have defined the graph for us and now we are defining all the variable uh, value so now we have already defined this session is equal to ses so inside this ses function we can start running our code so till now everything has been defined now inside this session let's start running the code so inside this session run i will run on y variable okay there are some problem okay you uh, once you initialize this variable you can apply on model also okay now you can run this session dot run on y okay we got it this is nothing but a 16 so 10 plus 6 is your 16 so once uh, we have defined this uh, initialize variable we have to run this variable also which will eventually create x and y now which once we start running this y it has uh, generated the actual output the actual execution of different this node x and y has been uh, started so till now uh, we have seen about uh, how to define a constant and how to define a, uh, a variable and once uh, inside you are in a session variable uh, you can start execution individual node and whatever the independent node on the top of that independent uh, node that will also eventually execute based on whatever the mathematical operation we have defined so uh, that, that is for constant and variable now suppose uh, uh, this is at uh, everything at uh, defining time you are already defining the value of individual constant or the uh, any variable which is dependent on another variable now suppose uh, while executing graph you want to feed some data to the system you want to change the data to the system based on some interval of uh, uh, time so those things you can not do with the help of just the uh, variable so for that purpose uh, there is a new concept like a placeholder so while running uh, this graph at that time you need to you suppose you want to provide some data to the graph or to some data to the particular node of the, the graph then how will you do it so uh, let's create uh, one placeholder variable first and let's try to understand how it's working placeholder and I'll just simply give the name x1 and no shape or uh, no dimension to the this x1 variable so it will take any dimension of uh, value and let's define another variable like y1 is nothing but like uh, two times x1 so whatever value has been given in uh, x1 is been multiplied by two and it will store inside this uh, y1 but how to supply this value to the x1 because in earlier our case we were defining both the times it is a constant the independent variable is a constant and we are supplying this value there only but suppose while running the program if you want to supply all those value how you can do it so that is the use of this placeholder now let's run this uh, y1 we have already this session variable session variable now if you supply if you run this code you will get error 
because it is trying to run this uh, y1 variable but it has no value has been supplied in a x1 because it is trying to run uh, ultimately it wants this x1 variable to calculate this y1 so there is a one more argument you can uh, supply which is nothing but this fit dictionary that how will you supply this x1 so x1 is equal to you can supply any value like uh, suppose 10 and you can run it okay we need to provide I think or simply suppose expected data type of D type is not X1 okay in X1 actually we need to provide here the data type which is nothing but the float or we have been assigned a float and let's try to run it okay we got this uh, uh, 4 into 2 is equal to 8 you can even supply uh, in a runtime some array also okay so every value inside this array has been multiplied by 2 where it is going to. so what is difference between constant variable and this placeholder so in a case of constant and variable while defining graph only we have assigned the individual values but in case of this uh, placeholder while running the graph we are supplying the value to the independent variable and eventually it will uh, calculate the dependent variable for us so that's it for uh, this lecture friends uh, we have com covered uh, enough basics for this uh, tensorflow to get started and to get started for our uh, first neural network and artificial neural network plus deep learning related model so in a future lecture we will see about uh, the different uh, deep learning model to get implemented inside this tensorflow so i hope you enjoy listening to this video if you don't understand anything please do comment like and subscribe it